like oh. taste. Like, 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 <laughs> do you think that we're really pretentious? I mean, I think. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is my husband, Aaron. I found him in a brown paper bag. I'll have a story time video of that later. Today, we are doing an eggnog taste test. Uh, I purchased some eggnogs from our local supermarkets on Long Island and we're going to put them to the test. Uh, what do you prefer when you're sampling an eggnog, Aaron? For me, I want there to be kind of like a custardy mouthfeel. It can't be like just cornstarch because that's just going to be a weird taste, but if it's got that custardy mouthfeel and it should be kind of buttery, not too sweet. I also like a custardy eggnog. I actually don't prefer the eggnog to be thick, especially if it's artificially thickened. I will actually add milk to my eggnog pretty frequently. Um, I like to definitely have the spices be forward. I like to be able to taste the nutmeg for sure. I love nutmeg. And um, currently my favorite is Southern Comfort. Um, that is not in this lineup, um, but that's my current favorite. Well, and honestly, whenever we get eggnog, I always like using our own nutmeg and just freshly grating some, a little fresh nutmeg on that, and that makes all the difference to me. Now, our PA, Morgan, shout out to Morgan, uh, has prepared these samples for us, so they are completely blind. Mm. And we are going to finish all of this eggnog before this video is done. And I'm pretty sure I had never tried any of these before, except the almond. I did get almond nog. Well, that, that's absolutely delicious. It's it very is. sweet. I can taste kind of that custardy taste. Like it's a little vanilla-y. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I like more spice than vanilla. So I think maybe that's not going to end up being my favorite. You know what this tastes like? What's that? Melted ice cream. Yes, it does. If, it that, if I drank that as melted ice cream, if someone just told me that was melted ice cream, I'd be like, that's some amazing melted ice cream. Or even melted frozen custard. Yeah. Yep. That's probably so, like what happened, like, like a, a custard plant like had a power outage and all their ice cream melted. And so they repackaged it as eggnog. They turned lemons into eggnog. Yeah. Okay, so um, it's delicious. It's not my favorite type of eggnog because it's not, it doesn't have the spices forward, but it's delicious. Oh my. This one has a darker yellow color. It does. So that's one, very vanilla. That's like yeah, more vanilla. Yeah, I know. I didn't want to say the same thing again, but this one even more vanilla and it's it's a little thinner. It's not quite as thick. I actually prefer this texture. It's thick. I mean, look at how it coats the glass. It's definitely yeah. thick as an eggnog should be. Mm, I think this one, it seems more naturally thickened, like it was thickened with the egg and the cream. And I think this has more of that carrageenan mouthfeel, I would say. What do you think? I, I'm not that sophisticated. <laughs> or you don't pretend that much. <laughs> so how would you rank these two currently? This one's too sweet for me. This mm -hmm. one's sweeter. So I would rank this one a little higher just because it's a little too in your face sweet. Okay. Are we going to go best to worst? Yeah. Okay. So we'll leave them like this currently. Okay. okay. On to number three. I really like... I like the flavor. I do taste the spice in that. I taste the nutmeg. Mm. Way more buttery. Um, and if you drink like a whole glass, it's like kind of a thing that sometimes when you drink something sweet, you like it initially, but when you're going down the glass, you kind of get sick of the sweet flavor. So that one's less sweet by quite a bit. And it's more buttery flavor. Salt. This one was salted. Maybe they all are, but I can taste the salt in that one. And I like that. And I think that's just what I'm tasting as being more buttery. If we have an eggnog that I don't like, I'll usually add nutmeg and salt to it. And that usually helps. There's a, a free tip. So how would you rank this one compared to these two? Definitely my favorite, this okay, one. Okay, that, I was going to say that. So good. We are on the same page. Okay. This easy. one is, I'm just looking at it, it's way yes. thinner. It looks, okay, in the mix somewhere we have an almond and a silk. And I am suspecting this to be one of those. <laughs> it oh, tastes like 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 a, a dirty rag that's kind of mildewy. Well, okay, we're we're vibing because I was gonna <laughs> say it tastes like after the party, 
You toss all the eggnog cups in one sink. You wash them up. This is the water. That's the eggnog dish water. Really not much of flavor. It's like wa yeah, it's and water. And it's definitely one of the non-dairies. Yeah. I'm going to call this as the almond. And this one looks thin too. Yeah. <sighs> That's, okay, so it's good we tasted these back to back. It's much better than this one. Much better than that one. It's still watery, like it doesn't coat the glass like you would want an eggnog to. Not, doesn't, it's not custardy, but it doesn't taste like a dirty rag. It's drinkable, but it's not like, I'm going to toast to the holidays with a glass of eggnog and I choose this now. No. No, 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 no. Like maybe if you're making an uh, eggnog latte for someone who couldn't have dairy, yeah, you would use this. I would pick this one. And I think this must be the silk, I'm going to guess, because I've been using this in my lattes. I think this is, I'm just guessing that this And this one, we're back to very Ooh, nice. that's beautiful. Yeah. I would say that has the prettiest color. Oh, you're supposed to taste it first. Oh. Ladies first. Mmm. Mm. That's also very good. Uh, it's sweeter than what was my favorite so far. It's very smooth. I okay. feel like That's this cool. has yeah. quality cream. Do you think that we're really pretentious? I mean, I think that's exactly the word. Okay. <laughs> but hopefully we're pretentious in a way that entertains you. I like to think of us as charmingly pretentious. <laughs> I think when you own it, it's okay. Why do we not have more friends? Oh. I mean, we're so charmingly pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that is delightful. I wish it had spice. This with some more spice. I mean, and I can see the little speckle. Well, that if we get spice. our fresh ground nutmeg, I'm wondering if I should mm -hmm. just go get the nutmeg and then do a retest. Oh, this is, this is really good though. It's definitely between those two. That's, I'm definitely going with yeah. this one. To me, this one's so buttery. It's not like so sweet. Like you can tell there's just like a big noticeable difference in sweetness in this one than all the rest, even though this one's also very good. There's something a little weird in this guy. Taste him again. There's almost like some something citrusy. There is. You taste that like orange. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like orange peel. But this is too sweet for me either way. Okay. And it's funny, these are these are my top three ranked in order and goes least sweet, second least sweet, third least sweet, and that's how it goes. So I'm wondering if we should try some of the, my home brewed. Um, I would rather not. <laughs> I, I made uh, uh, Alton Browns and I think I messed up the recipe because it's awful. It's terrible. Like, like it tastes well, like booze and sugar. It's It's a mystery to me. To me, it's a mystery because you made it with a ton of cheap alcohol <laughs> and it tastes like cheap alcohol. It wasn't cheap. I guess it was cheap as alcohol. I'm not, we, we don't drink a lot, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're so not let's, re let's reveal, let's reveal our brands here. Yeah. So, number, oh, guess what? Will you guess what? Guess who won our eggnog challenge? Stu. Leonard's. Oh my gosh. So this is a local store. <laughs> We're on Long Island. I got this because they didn't have any um, Southern Comfort. I was, it was a, I was stopping there. So my kids call this the push a button store. It's a very charming family owned store. There's only seven of them out here in the um, Northeast. There's some in Connecticut. And so this is their private label and yeah. Good job, Stu. Yep. It is a beautiful eggnog. I think I would grate a little nutmeg on that and that would be my okay. holy grail nut of eggnog. Okay, interesting. I'm so, calling that the golden. It's farmland. Nope. Farmland. Farmland premium eggnog. And indeed it was. That's it good. was premium. I'm gonna taste some again as we go. The next one was Nellie's. Now this is interesting. So number three. And I'm going to check this. So this was Nellie's Free Range Eggs Limited Edition Eggnog. This this weren't cheap. And I'm just going to scan. They put turmeric in here. And That's all the trend. Joe Rogan would love it. Carrageenan or Genin. How do you pronounce 
pronounce that? Carrageenan? Carrageenan? I was looking for orange, natural and artificial flavors that could be in there. Interesting. So even Little Miss Freshy Fresh Free Range uses that stinking carrot carrageenan. Does carrageenan? that have the carrageenan? Yes, it does. What do you want to bet they all do? It's so annoying. Do you know what? This one doesn't. Does it not? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Okay, okay. Yeah. so the next in our lineup was Hood. Now this was the Hood Golden Eggnog, and it was indeed golden. This was the most golden mm. by far in color. It has, it's, it's good. It's very vanilla. This is the prettiest eggnog. Yeah. This is a beautiful, beautiful eggnog. And then we're Actually, not... I think I like this one better than this one. Well, really? Yeah. Taste them together. That orangey flavor. Yeah. That orangey flavor is just, uh-uh. No, thank you. No, Nelly. Okay. Yep, silk. I don't know. This one's this one's drinkable. Yeah, if you're not gonna do dairy, God bless. Go with the silk. And the cheese stands alone. But you know, this is 50 calories for a half cup. That's what I've been using it. It adds a little oh, holiday cheer to my it's latte. It's terrible. And this one's 80 calories for a half cup. So there yeah. you go. I mean, it does add a little holiday cheer to your coffee without. I mean, what's 180 calories in a half cup. Yep. Worth every calorie. Okay, what? who gets to drink the good one? You drink this one. You start on this end, I'll start on that end. Thank you for joining us. Please click subscribe and click the little bell notification. We will be doing a hot cocoa taste test and that'll be up in a couple of weeks. Thanks for your time. We literally, know. we're not like, they're know. not grocery, they're not like customers at our grocery store. I don't store. know how to do it. Come back again up. soon. What do um, Regis and, Ka wait, I'm sorry. Who's the new Regis? I, I don't know. I just got used to Kathy Lee being replaced. <laughs> 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 um, I don't know. <laughs> okay.